Hey, hello friends, welcome to my channel. I'm glad in meeting you in another interesting video in this Python uh, interview question series. So in this video, let's see how to find missing element in second array. Okay, so this is something very interesting question and um, I would bet that this is something most frequently asked even in top tech companies. So uh, probably we'll see how we can solve this problem. So the problem statement is find missing element in second array or I can put it in a different way, telling that uh, find the elements which is present in the first array, but it is not present in the second array. So this is something very most frequently asked and let's let's jump into the problem statement. Let's jump into the solution. Okay, so we can uh, solve this using two different approaches. One is like uh, we'll use a, a naive approach in using traditional for loop, okay, using loop uh, and and see how we can bring an output to this second thing is another in efficient solution um, using XOR operator okay so so you can uh, let's discuss about these two operate um, methods and how we can find missing element in the secondary okay so let's jump onto the program so in order to save some time I already have a couple of my arrays here so I've named it as A and B. So A has some elements in it, B has some elements in it. So basically I want to find what's, what is what is present in A but missing in B, right? So let's jump into the program. So as usual, I am declaring a method. So find missing, let me call it as find missing. And yep. Yeah, and let me have my uh, let me find the length of these two array as well. So x equal to length of a, y equal to length of b. Okay. So now uh, and finally we'll call the find missing element. So let's jump into the actual implementation. So I am going to pass this in as a parameters, right? So I'm going to pass these here. Like I'm going to pass all these values like a, my array a and b and also my length values x and y. Similarly, it should be called here as well a comma b comma x comma y. So first thing is like obviously I want to uh, loop through each and every element in the array A and array B, right? So for the first iteration, so I'm gonna look through my first array A. So for I in range, what's A? The length of A is X, right? So X and obviously I need another nested loop to go through the second array. So for J in range, Y, So I have to find um, uh, if if the element in the first array is present in the second array or not. So obviously I have to validate if both the elements are equal or not, right? So my condition is very simple. So if a of i, which is my first array equal to b of j, so if both the elements are equal then I am I want to come out of the loop so as simple as that right so I will I will I will add a break statement uh, to make sure I come out of that loop uh, once I find a matching element in both the arrays so obviously we don't need the matching elements right so as soon as I found the uh, as soon as I find the matching element I come out of the loop so I have added a break statement another catch here is uh, we want to make sure we are traversing through the entire uh, uh, element in the second array like the, the entire length in the second array right so in order to do that I am adding another condition called if j equal to if j equal to equal to y minus 1 and then I am printing the missing values which is a of i so what I'm uh, I'm doing here is I'm just making sure that uh, I am iterating through to the last element in my uh, 
array in my second array right so here if you see if the value of j is equal to equal to y minus 1 with y is here the y is uh, length of b which is 5 right so if j equal to equal to, so y minus 1 would be 5 minus 1 4 so whenever there is a, a the length is matching then obviously I have make sure that I am iterating to the last element in the b array so I am just uh, adding this condition and finally printing out the missing value right so let me run and show you what happens so yeah here it is so I have just easily found out what is present in the first array and what is not present in the second array so 16 is present in first but it is not in the second one and uh, 4 is present in the first one which is not here in the second one and again 15 is present in the first one which is not present in the second one okay so this is uh, this is an interesting uh, solution okay so uh, as, as I said earlier we this is a very naive approach using traditional for loop but the time complexity here is o of n square because you have to uh, you know traverse through each and every item in two different uh, arrays so i have nested for loop here so uh, the time complexity is o of n square so i am jumping into another solution another efficient solution using xor operator okay so obviously um, you know whenever you perform in interviews so obviously interviewer looks for an efficient solution even if you write a working code uh, even if if you have written this code which is absolutely working fine even in that situation you know interviewer will look for an efficient solution so if if he or she is looking for an efficient solution other than this then i would suggest you to try another operation another um, method called xor approach before going into uh, this approach let's try to understand how xor works so xor is you know uh, is more of a how to call it as a python bitwise operator uh, so whenever the two elements are different then it will obviously return one if both elements are diff same then it will return zero let's look at an example so let's take binary values of two elements like for four it will be um, one so this is the binary value of it so for three it will be zero double one so in this situation if you look at these values everything is different so all the values are different so uh, one and zero is not matching zero 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 one zero one zero one so the elements in both these um, numbers are not matching so obviously when i do an xor of this all the values will be one 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 what if i do it for a two i have two so the value of two binary value of two is zero zero one one right so so in this situation if you if you look at this values like one and zero are uh, matching so here it will be one uh, zero and zero are matching so obviously it will be zero so whenever both the elements are equal it will be zero if it is not matching then it will be one so this is how you can you can use an xor approach uh, to find the missing elements in in the second array all right so uh, how we can uh, do this is okay let me write an array for you and then probably i will explain you how this works okay so let's have an array called x equal to say 4 comma 8 comma 1 comma 3 comma 7 Right, let's have another array y equal to say 7 comma 4 comma 3 comma 1 right so in this example how it works is so it will take an xr of each and every element like uh, 4 uh, it will take the so obviously if we run it in a loop how it will work is 
we will take an XR of each and every element. So four seven will be mismatching. So four four. So so both these four are matching. Again, when it comes to the next element eight, eight is obviously not matching here. So that is our missing element. So it will come one and one. It will compare one and one. It will pass and three and three, which is available, and seven and seven, it is available. So if you look at this example, obviously eight is is not uh, eight is actually missing. So if you do an XR with the other element, either array here, so the remaining element will be eight. So obviously I can print this value eight using an XR operation. All right. So now just uh, let's jump into the solution and uh, see how we can solve this using XR operator. Right. So def missing number x comma y comma n because I'm gonna find the length of the uh, first array. So I'm so I've just I passed the parameter n as well. So n equal to so n equal to length of x and finally i will print the missing number value so print so i'll just call the values that's all finally we will print it later all right so now let's into this now let's look into the solution so how i want to do an xr operator is i just wanted to uh you know Initialize a value and start with an XOR operation uh, with an initialize value called zero. So I'm going to initialize a missing uh, missing value missing number equal to zero. I'm just assuming it zero, and then I am using an for loop to iterate through each and every element in my first array. So i in range n, I'm going to do an XOR. So a missing number equal to Missing number x XR, this is how we write an XR operator x of i right so I am just I, uh, doing an XR operation with each and every element in my first array starting from you know, zero so here it's zero against four and it uh, so uh, and Four and zero against eight, zero against one, zero against three, zero against seven. So likewise, this will follow. This will iterate through each and every element in the array. Once we do an XOR of the first uh, array, then we'll jump on to the second one. So for i in range n minus one, so which is so. One thing why I have n minus one is this solution will work only if the value, uh, uh, the length of the oh, second array is just if if it is if it has only one missing element, only then this XOR approach will work perfect. So this is another tricky part you have to keenly note. So here we the length is five, here the length is four. So I am so I have make sure that the first element is range is n and the first for loop range is n the second for loop range is n minus 1 okay and and then missing number equal to missing number x or of second array is y of i right and here return m so I'm just easily returning the missing number value. And okay, I'm not printing it, so that's why I just wanted to print it. So maybe I will add something like this: print um, missing number is maybe missing number is I have to pass the parameters as well, right? So what are the parameters x comma y comma n yeah now let me run and show you this 
yeah the missing number here is eight okay so this is how you can easily find um, missing number uh, in this second array so for example, if i want to test it for another element say maybe i will um, add three here sorry eight here so obviously three is missing so now it should be three missing number is three okay so this is another efficient approach uh, in how you can find missing element in the second array okay so that's all what i want to cover as part of this video guys so in case if you have any other questions or if you find any other efficient solution than this please let me know in the comment section we'll discuss it further if you like my video please subscribe to my channel thank you